Hi everybody, today I will show you how to use Notion for trading general. So let's just begin. Alright, so first of all you would need to go to the Notion and after that you would have to log in into a Notion account. So if you haven't created your Notion account, you simply register there in the Notion.so then you can simply create the trading general there. Okay. So to create the trading general, all you need to do is to click on the add new add a page here. And here, as you can see this, I will be using the tabular view. So I'll simply click here on the table. So in the table, you'd have to select the new database. Since we're creating a new trading journal, that is why we will need to create a new database. Okay, so let's just write down my trading journal. And after that, you can simply add the cover to your journal here. Okay, so this is looking fine. We can go with this. Okay, so in the trading journal. Okay, so let's just write down A here. The first column is the name column and it would be the number of the trading. Okay, so we can have one, two and three here. Okay, so after the name column, I would like to have the date column here. Okay, which simply means on which date I have done the trading here just to track the date of the trading. Okay, so let's click here and let's just write down date here. Okay, so after the date, you would have to click on the edit property. And from here, we would select the type of our date column. So the type would be date type. Okay, so let's click here. And now you can see this, we have the date type. Okay, so after that, I would like to create the day of the week on which I have done the trading. Okay, so let's just click on the edit here. So it would be multi select. So the type of the data would be select. Let's just write down day of the week here. And let's just add the option here. So this would be Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday. And after that, we would have Thursday. And in the last, we would have Friday. Okay. So we won't be doing any trading on the Saturday and the Sunday. So, okay. So the column day of the week have five different values from Monday to Friday. Okay. All right. So here, let's just select the value. So it would be Monday. You can select the date. And here we would have the name of the trading. Okay. So after that, we will have pair on which we have done the trading. Okay. So it would be also select. Let's just write down pair here. And at the moment, I will simply add a single pair here of euro to USD. Okay, that's it. And after that, we would have the direction whether our trading was the long or the short. Okay, so direction and this type would be select as well. It would have the two options long short okay so let's select the value to the short okay so after that we would have whether we have won the trade or not so let's select the checkbox and its value would be win and let's select the value so we have won our first trade on the Monday okay so after that we would have the sessions so after the win, we have the select. Okay. So let's click here and the data tab would be the select. So here, let's just write down session and it would have three different values, whether the session New York or Asian or we have the London. Okay. So we have these three different values. So let's just select the value here. So this would be New York and after that we would have the entry time when we have done the trading okay so let's just select the number here and let's just write down entry time and here you can simply put the entry time so for example it is 315 okay so let's just give it a dot Okay, so after the entry point, I would actually like to have the duration. 
so the data type or the duration would be the number again and here you can simply write down the value of the duration you had for your trading so it would be 30 minutes for now and after that we have the rr the type of rr would be number all right so here you can put the value of the rr and after that we would have the potential rr okay so this data tab would be number again so here you can simply write down the value of the potential rr okay so after that we would have the news so in the news so it would be the multi select let's just write down the name here and in the multi select let's just add the options so whether it can be cpi and it can also be fomc all right so let's select the values here so it would be both of the values fomc and cpi as well so that is why we have used the multi select data type of the news column okay so after the news we would have the narrative all right so this would be the text so the idea of narrative here simply means that why you have take the trade okay what were the reasons behind the trade so here you can simply write down the reasons behind the trade in the narrative okay and after that i would like to have the emotions what were the emotions that you had when you were doing that trade okay so it would be the text again and let's just write down emotions here okay so in the emotions you simply write down how were you feeling when you were doing that particular trade okay and in the last i would like to have the learnings from that particular trade what were the learnings what you have learned from that particular trade okay okay so let's select the text again and this would be what did you learn today okay so here you can simply write down the things that you will learn from that particular trade okay so this is how you can create the trading journal so it would really help you to monitor the trading that you will be doing in the future because you cannot track the record of the trading without putting it on any platform so that is why you can simply use the notion as the trading journal it would really help you to understand the profit and the losses that you have done and the, the things that you have learned on each trading okay so that is why we should create the trading journal to monitor our tradings okay so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel